Hello everyone, I'm Hilary Chin. Thank you all so much for coming and watching my YouTube channel. Please do well to go at the top of my head here and select that video. That video is um, Kobo Toolbox for Beginners. It's very, very important. Those of you who are coming here for the first time. Today, I just want to show you, give you um, the difference between a form and a data, okay? Um, a form in Kobo Toolbox, um, uh, these are questions that you have designed to deploy, to send out there for people to respond, okay? And data is the information that these people respond, or the, 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 the information that comes in through the respondents, okay? Maybe as they're answering the questions, answering and answering, that information that is coming in is data. So I just wanted you to have a clue of these differences okay it's very important for those of us who are beginners um in kobo toolbox and also go down below here i've made videos on skip logic i've made videos on data validation i've also made videos on how to put logo in your form when you are um, um, designing the form to um, deploy for people to respond. It's very important. Many organizations would like to customize those forms um, put by putting their, 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 their logo of, or the logo of their organization or companies. Okay. Um, and please, if you're a lecturer, if you are a student, if you are a teacher, if you're a researcher, these tools are very, very good for you. Please, let's jump in. Let me show you how this works. So right here, I am in my Kobo Toolbox page. I'll just, I'm on the page, I'll just click login here and I log in, okay? And once I log in, you are going to see all the projects that I created or that I designed. And we are going to be using one of those projects to do this example, okay? It's very, very important. Right here, these are all the projects I designed. One thing I want you to take note is this. All these projects, most of them have been deployed. Some just have 10 um, respondents, submissions. Some have 84, 52, and 101. Or 110, sorry. I would like us to use this one that says 10 submissions, okay? And I want us, to, the name is volunteers and staff. I'll just double click. Now, once I double click, what is opening up is the form, okay? And on this form here, right now I'm on summary. This is the header of the form. I can change it from here, okay? So this is a, the form on its own, okay? And down here, it shows me a summary of all these other options. But something I want you to take note is that we are going to be coming on forms, which is the form, and we are going to be going to data. Let's start to, let's, let's first go to forms. So right here, I'm gonna click on forms. When I click on forms, it, bring, it opens that form. It gives me a snapshot of that form. I can edit the form from here. I can view it, preview it from here. I can replace this form if I want to put logo. Like I said, go up uh, by the top of my head there and click that link. You see how this one works as well. This is when we want to add something in the form, maybe a picture or maybe a, a logo, okay? And then here now, I can download this form, these three dots here. So I'm gonna click on these three dots here and I come to download XLS. You can download it in different formats. You can share this form. Um, share this project to somebody you can clone it you can multiply it by two you can create template of this project you can manage translations as well make it a language that we want people to input or use okay but today we want to download this form remember we are trying to give you the difference between downloading a form and a data so we have come now to form and we come to these three dots and we want to download okay so i'm going to click download here it's as simple as this okay perfect so this is the form i've just downloaded is hidden up here this is the form so i'm going to come here and i double click so once i double click you see my excel is already opening up okay so this is the form so when you download a form what you notice in the form is that all you see are the questions that you set okay these are the hints question hints um these are this form i had used it to put logo into my system okay that's why you have this uh, media um, column column image here and also you have this logo dot gph gpg um jpg here which is a, a, a picture format of that logo etc but today we are not focusing on that i just wanted to show you how your form looks like you see all you see are your questions that you set okay here you have um the different question what is the full meaning of hadi etc etc these are the questions that we set or that I set within that form. So that is what you are going to see when you download your form. Let's delete this off and then we go to the next. So right now, we have deleted that form. We've seen how the form looks like. It shows us everything that we designed in that form. If we preview this form also, it will also show us everything that we saw when we downloaded the form, okay? 
it will show us um, the kind of questions we set what was the question etc etc okay it's taking a little bit of time i think it's my network but it's fine so it's going to show you just that okay when it comes to um downloading form you see this is it this is how i set my questions this is what i did blah 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 you see these are the questions i set okay so now i want to download the data we have 10 submissions up here if you look at up here this top top up here we have 10 submissions so to get these submissions all we need to do is to go now to data we want to now go into the data proper to download the data and when we get to data we have tables here okay this is table and on this table here you find all the different um, um uh, submissions okay the time they submitted the kind of answer they put etc etc you see a group what is the age they put their ages what is the full name put the full meaning you put you know they choose a particular um, 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 option um depending on how we design the the kubo toolbox okay and um, forms and then here now we are still on that data don't forget and then here now we go to report okay this is the brief okay it gives you this brief the report here it says male and female so these are the amount of male that are in our organization here and these are the amount of female here in red okay and it gives you just the snapshot of 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 your um of of your data okay what people have put in through submissions so here it says health is red and then education is blue hadi mostly does education okay so these are some of the answers that um volunteers and staff were we're trying to find out from them and so on and so forth so right now i'm going to go to remember we came here because we want to download okay so i have moved from data here where we are i've moved from table report I want to skip this gallery because we have no pictures in this um, uh, um, uh, form. Now I want to go to download. So I'm going to click this download here. Once I click this download here, you see that it says export. Once I click export, you see it add, it's processing here. You see it's processing. I did some previously. Okay. So we have done a new export here. So when you do export here, you decide if you want the values to be XML values and headers. Okay. This is what we want. We can decide to just make it labels. Okay. This is what I'll be talking again in other videos to give you the clarity of that. Okay. I don't want this video to be too long. So now that I have come here, data, go to download and then come here and click export. It gives me, it gave, it, it gave us this option. So I'm going to click here now. So once I click here, you see it downloads. Something went up here. That's the download. That's the version of it. And I double click and my Excel is opening up very simple and now what i'm going to see now is not just the questions that i said but i'm going to see the responses that came in through this question okay so you see that is different from your form okay this is your um 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 um, um data that people brought in so it is from this data now that i can start analyzing okay understanding and coming in with the same report that we saw previously in kobo toolbox maybe visualizing using column charts bar charts etc pie chart etc okay so this is how important it is to know these differences hello i hope this was helpful and please uh, we are getting to it we are in a different economy okay and this economy is governed and ruled by technology so um when you see these tools that we teach please do well to study them do well to master them we also have some flash that we have designed and in this flash we have more than 40 recorded lessons just as i'm teaching you like this it's um there you have excel you have power bi you have tableau you have kobo toolbox you have um google sheet you have google forms these are skills that you need as someone who is ready to be useful in this economy moving forward please do remember to like remember to share um each time if you need the flash please just hook us up through the email um, down below this video and also you can join our whatsapp group we are always available on our whatsapp group that is where we post um, regular videos, regular lessons. We do that every week, every month to make sure that people stay um, on top of their game uh, in their different workplaces and also in their career paths. Thank you all so much and stay blessed, stay blessed, stay blessed.